Yay! Introductions! Call me Deadpool. Alright, fellow YouTubers, this is a review of Gundam Nataku Custom from the Endless Waltz movie that was piloted by the ever always crying Wufei. This is an awesome figure that came with way too much stuff. First of all, this is an MSIA uh, Gundam, and as you can see, I like how they did the dark imprints on like the actual little claws. Those came out really, really good. They have thought they don't usually put that much detail into them, but they did for these figures, and it came out awesome. He has so many weapons. Like he comes, he actually comes with uh, he comes with two things. He comes with this, these weapons on both arms which are pretty awesome and he also comes with this uh saber here which that's pretty awesome too talking about articulation right quick i try to get the articulation this will bend this bends you know i'm starting to think this is custom because i don't think they usually came that well done anyway but it, i guess i got lucky but this will bend you know could move about that much arms could be in yeah this has got to be custom but this could move about here was on a ball joint so it could move you could keep these weapons or take them off the weapons were were actually really awesome he could extend them and they had claws that could extend out which is awesome like I love whenever they make these MSIA little Gundam like figures and they include them with so many extra weapons and that's pretty much what they did for this one and it came out awesome and there's the other one and he had this uh I bet I'm saying it wrong. He can hold it in both hands, but I put the fist one hand and put the one where he could hold it. But it's just awesome, like how it come, like how it came out. It's an awesome figure. It's gorgeous. Too bad it had to go to Wolf A, who doesn't feel like he deserves to pilot it, no matter if he sneezes on it. But he's a kind of a crybaby. But still, he had an awesome Gundam. But uh, it came out pretty awesome to me, and uh, how they did it was cool. And on the back, you know, he has this. I did reviews on G Gundam, so I keep thinking they got them little packs of like the cars. But he has a plain jet pack on like the back. And uh, pretty much, I already told you about the articulation, how he can move. It can go about that far. You could take it off and make it go around, but I don't see why. But uh, it's a pretty awesome like figure this one is really fun if you want to pose it because there's so many poses that it could have like i just did that on acid and that looks really cool but yeah like this is a this is a pretty awesome figure and it's for anyone that's really into gundam nataku i'm starting to think this is custom and i didn't even know it because it's a lot of little black lines that are in it and i just started to notice that now but so i have a custom figure so um i got lucky whenever i got this off of ebay I haven't had this. I usually have mine for years, but I had to get this one because I never got it. My brother got it. I was like, I don't want it if he has it. But he used to set it up in such cool things with these two claws. But yeah, this is an awesome figure. And it's perfect for anyone that is a collective of Gundams or an MSIA. And this guy just looks like he took a pen and he went through it. And that actually, it looks pretty cool how he like did it. So get a pen and do, and do that. I might do that to the rest of my Gundams. But anyway, this came out awesome. It's a nice Gundam. It's beautiful. I'm just going to say it. It's a gorgeous Gundam. Just like, you know, the Wing Custom and it's Sand Rock. It's like, I don't know if they made them for, like, girls. But they made them kind of flawless. And it was like they kind of, like, are more skinny. Like, they're strong, but they're skinnier. And they're just awesome. But how it came out, it's a pretty nice figure. So that is my quick review. Of the MSIA Gundam the talk to figure. If you have any questions on it, just let me know. But this Gundam is cool and it's awesome. I'm glad it's in my collection to go with the rest of my figures. And if you scroll down my channel, you'll see where I actually had them line up for Operation Me Meteor, if you ever can find it. But still, this is awesome. So I'm glad you watched. And this has been my review on the MSIA version of Gundam the Thank you for your cooperation and watching.